Welcome everyone, it's Gracier Guy, Rock the Gracier as always. I have been in the past told that I love red a little too much. Now I don't always do a lot of red content on the channel, but I really do love red as a color. Even though oddly sometimes I overlook it, but there has been quite a few amount of Boros decks because I like white, I like red, and I know that they are considered technically some really bad for Commander, but I like red, and I also, it's no secret that I like Theros. So when you get red and Theros together, you get Pulphoros God of the Forge! Woo! Legendary creature, or legendary elemental creature, God. Mythic, indestructible, as long as your devotion to red is less than five, Pulphoros isn't a creature. Wah, wah, wah. Whenever another creature ends the battlefield under control, Pulphoros still two damage to each opponent. And for three, creature control get plus zero, plus... Or, no, no. It's plus one, plus zero. It's the end of turn. Oh my god, the wall deck. The wall deck is making my, making my mind go crazy. So, now, don't do a lot of mono red decks. So what is in the lands? Well, we got Forgotten Cave. Hanware Battlements. Mm -hmm. uh, Kern Kep. Let's make some Cobalts. And a F ton of mountains. We got a bunch of mountains. I don't even remember how many mountains we got, but they're all the same. <laughs> they're all the Ravnica mountains because I honestly think this is probably the best mountain that Wizards has ever printed. And I know there are lots of really good mountains, but I really love the original Ravnica mountain. If I can get this in foil, I would love to. And I know I could just go on Card Kingdom right now and just buy it on foil or TCG Play or whatever. But I would like to just like buy a box of Ravnica, which would be super expensive, and then just open a foil mountain. But I. Mm. I need to save money, so I can't go spending money like that. So we're not going to do that. But anyways, let's keep going. We got Nykthos trying to Nyx because this is a monocolor deck. You always want to put Nykthos in a monocolor deck because you have more devotion. Uh, Temple of the False Gods because I need more mana. And then, was it Volakut? <laughs> the, the Molten Pinnacle. Comes into play tapped, enters the battlefield under control. If you control at least five mountains, you may have it deal three damage to any target. So it's basically just a free lightning bolt if I have a bunch of mountains. Which is not why I put a bunch of mountains here. Put a bunch of mountains here because it's a mono red deck. You know what? Did I put... Ooh, hold on. I did. Okay. All right. <laughs> so we got our first one drop is Norin the Wary, Legendary Creature Human Warrior. When a player casts a spell or a creature attacks, exile it. Return the battlefield and under control the next ten step. So it triggers Pulphoros twice. Or as many times as I want. Woohoo! Scar Prospector, Sacrifice Gablin, add one red mana. Because once he's out and he's done the Pulphoros, why do I care about him? This is also sort of a kind of a goblin deck, but there are goblins in here, but they're not all goblins. Uh, it's a gotta goblin something. And we got Vandal Blast because it's a red deck and I hate artifacts. Skull Clamp, because I love artifacts. Soul Ring, cause yes. Dragon Fodder, cause I get two triggers of pull for us. Goblin Bombardment, Sacrifice a Creature, Goblin Bombardment deals one damage to any target. It's pretty good. Impact Tremors, whenever a creature enters the battlefield under control, Impact Tremors deals one damage to each opponent, so it's like, pull for us, but to everyone! Woo! One question. Hold on, let me read it. Oh, no, oh, no, that's, uh, that is not actually, Cleansing Nova is not in the deck. <laughs> Cleansing Nova is in my, uh, collection. Uh, yes, okay, just make sure. I was, I was, I had to read that real quick. We got Carrie Zev, Skyship Raider. Carrie Zev's looking sweet today, and all days. She's got that monkey. First Strike Menace, whenever it attacks, create a legendary creature, monkey, uh, legendary 2-1 red monkey creature token named Ragavan that taps and attacking, exile token into the combat. However... So every time she attacks, Pulphoros is going to deal two damage. Woo! We got Krenko's command. I'm just going to, I don't know. So I made two monocolor decks, and I'll spoil a little bit. So the next monocolor deck is blue. And this one I made because someone did some like crazy Soviet-era art for Pulphoros. Uh, I don't know where that is. I, you can just Google like Pulphoros got the forge Soviet, and it should pop up in the, in the image. But they made really awesome looking custom art for it, and I was like, I must make a mono red deck in honor of Bullfros. So that's why I made this deck. Cranko's Command, because why not? Mog War Marshal, because he's got Echo, and you know, he makes red goblins whenever uh, it enters the battlefield or dies, so more Bullfros triggers. Now, Talania Summoner, Human Shaman, she's got a huge hat. That hat is huge. From Ixalan, or Rivals of Ix I think it's Rivals. Yes, it's Rivals of Ixalan. 
We got Ascend, you know, if we have the City's Blessing. Whenever it attacks, you may pay X and Red. If you do create that many Red Elements, Creature Tokens, Taps, and Attacking at the beginning of the Ascent, Exiles Tokens, unless you have the City's Blessing, but it doesn't matter because Pulphoros has gone off. Uh, we got Young Pyromancer. Whenever you cast into some sorcery spells, create some more elemental creature tokens. And he's got some sweet goggles. Ber reverberates, so we get to copy some... Basically, it's basically just a fork. We get to copy some spells. It's pretty good. And it's also not our spells, which is even better. So we got Fire Diamond. You know, it's some more red mana. Iron Mirror, more red mana. Mind Stone, more mana. Ruby Medallion, which is was oddly expensive, by the way. If you don't have any of the medallions, they were kind of expensive. I I think they're expensive because they're just really good. Oh, wait, no, I take that back. So they're not that expensive to get on Mythgo if you use MTGO, tra MTGO Traders. Not sponsored, but I think I should have a link to the deck tech in the description. But they are really expensive in paper, if, if you didn't already know. Blood Moon, because it's a mono-red deck, and I hate all other colors in this, in this instance. Chaos Warp, because I, wa I like Chaotic Removal. I just think it's funny, it's like a man turning into a beast. Like, is that really a good thing? I don't know. Goblin Assault, at the beginning of your upkeep, create a 1-1 one, one red Goblin Creature token with haste. Goblin Creatures uh, attack each combat if able, but it doesn't matter, because we just keep getting pull for our triggers to go off. Goblin Matron, when it enters the battlefield, you may search the library for a Goblin card, reveal that card, and put it in your hand. If you do, shuffle your library. It's pretty cool. I like that art from... Uh, I don't remember if they ever remade this, but I definitely like the art from Urza's. Goblin Rattle Master. Other creature, other, uh, since there's a lot of goblins in here, it's a little goblin travel. From M15, creatures you control attack each combat if able. Goblin creatures. At the beginning of your combat, at the beginning of, of combat on your turn, you create a goblin, so pull for those sugars off. Whenever Rattle Master attack, it gets plus one, plus zero until end turn for each other attacking goblin. So Rattle Master gets bigger. Goblin Warrens. You pay three, sacrifice two goblins, create three goblins. It's pretty good. Goblins breed underground. There's numbers hidden for the enemy until it's too late. I like how he's just like eating another goblin. He's like, I will sacrifice you to make more of me. Grinning Ignis. It's a creature elemental. Looks kind of like a goblin, but I guess it's an elemental. Return the Ignis to its owner's hands. You add uh, a bunch of mana. Activate this ability only anytime you cast your sorcery. So pay one red. Return to your hand. Make a bunch of mana. And then bring it back. So it's basically just kind of... It basically flickers. Pretty much. And uh, if you have a, a bunch of red mana, you can constantly just keep being, you can just constantly keep flickering the Ignis. So it's pretty sweet. And I, ah, oh, man, I need to, I wish Farsight was not so, is that Farsight? Uh, I think so. Yeah, I think that's the set. I wish it wasn't so expensive. We got Handware Garrison. So I have the Garrison, but this is showing all three of them, which we also have the Battle Mints. We can make the Township. But I have them because he makes two 1-1 one, one red human creature tokens, which is why I put him in the deck. Hammer of pull for us because we have pull for us. We need his hammer. Hordling Outburst because I like making goblins. Molten Birth. This thing, I don't know what this thing is, but he looks cool. He looks, he reminds me of Starship Troopers. You know, he just reminds me of one of the, the, oh crap, I forget what they call those things. The bugs. They are, I mean, they're called, well, they call them the bugs, the arachnids, but I, uh, arachnid warrior, I think is what they call them. Anyways, he makes the elementals, and he flip coins. You know, if you flip the right coin, you bring it back to your hand. Ashnod's Altar, because I like to sacrifice my creatures for my mana. Empty the Warrens, create two 1-1 one, one red goblin creature tokens, and it has Storm. So, once again, Storm's good. And, uh, moving on. So we got Ib, Healthheart, Goblin Tactician, from Time War? Time War? Time Spiral? Uh, I can't remember. Uh, whenever another goblin you control becomes blocked, sacrifice it. If you do, it deals four damage to each creature blocking it. Ah uh ha! -huh. So basically, it turns all the goblins into like explosives. So that's pretty good. Sacrifice two mountains, you create two red red goblins. So it's kind of like at the end, you can just you just blow off. Outpost siege. I like outpost siege. Enters the battlefield, choose cards, dragons. You can your upkeep. Exile top card of your library until the turn you may play the card. More card draw. Whenever a creature you control leaves the battlefield, it deals one damage to any target. So pretty much I'd always pick dragons in this case for the most part. We got Tooth and Claw. Sacrifice two creatures. Create a 3-1 red beast creature token named Carnivore. So this basically, the whole thing is once Purphoros is down, once Pulphoros is down, or Purphoros, Purphoros? Oh man, if I've been saying that wrong the whole time, I feel really bad. Anyway, so yeah, yeah, you you are you've already done your two damage, so now you're going to sack them to make a bigger thing, and it's like 
Don't spend long examining signs of its passage uh, that you find that all means it's still close at hand. Oh, no. Field back chief, Goblin Warrior, Ernest Battlefield, create two, one red, red, Goblin Creature Tokens. Chandra Torch of Defiance. Did I ever did I ever pull Chandra Torch of Defiance? Oh man, I can't remember. I don't I don't know. I think I have. Ooh. If uh you should go watch all of my Kaladesh unboxings and tell me if I ever pulled Chandra, because I can't remember if I have or not. Uh but anyway. So oh wait, I think I do. I think I have a Chandra. Oh, man, I, now I can't remember. So, exile the top card of your library. You may cast that card. If you don't, it deals two damage to each opponent. Or you make two red mana, or it deals four damage to target creature. You get an emblem with whenever you cast a spell, that emblem deals five damage to any target. So, Chandra just, she's bow, she's boss. She's looking nice in that card, though. We got Krenko, because, you know, Krenko and Pulphoros, they're like friends. We got Pira and Kira Nalar from, uh, where is this, uh, Origins? Yes, Origins. There's the battlefield, create some Thopters. You know, Paul Frost popping off. Panharmonica, because we or Panharmonicon, because we want more triggers. Sad robot. Womp womp. Uh, the little hatch the hatcher, Eldrazi drone. Elder's battlefield creates three or deal six damage. <laughs> or do both. Dictate twin gods, because whenever a source would deal damage to a permanent or player, it deals double that damage. So that so I would only use this if I'm like, uh, I'm gonna do like three damage. Okay, six damage. Ha <laughs> got him. But then it gets really tricky really quickly, so yeah, I don't always want to use this. Uh, then we got Goblin Rally. Create four 1-1 one, one red goblin creature tokens. Mog Infestation. Destroy all creatures target player controls for each creature that died this way creates two 1-1 one, one reds. So it's, I'm just mostly going to destroy my own stuff. Neheb the Eternal. Neheb is looking sweet. Zombie Minotaur Warrior. Afflictory. And... The beginning of your post combat main phase for each add one mana for each one life your opponent lost this turn. So, yeah, so he's looking awesome. Reforts the soul. Yeah, we'll get rid of some hands and get some new cards. Siege Gang Commander. Now I really like the old Siege Gang Commander art, but I think this was the cheapest, so I just went with this. But he's good. Make some make some happens. We got Cranko because Cranko's just Cranko's awesome. Hellion Interruption. Sacrifice all creature control then create that many four four red Hellion creature tokens, and they just look awesome. Just when you thought it'd be safe in the middle of an open field with no Jazzy around for miles. Woo, Jazzy. Sunbird's Invocation, because Sunbird's Invocation, if you haven't realized, it's just broken, like, all the time. Chandra Flamecaller, because Chandra makes... Chandra, who makes tokens, is, is good Chandra. And she's mythic. Descent of the Dragons. Destroy a number of target creatures for each creature destroyed this way. Its controller creates a bunch of dragons that are flying, and I'd use this on myself, more than likely. Goblin Marshal, Echo. When it enters the battlefield or dies, create two goblin creatures, so I'd probably just let it die. Kindred Charge basically just makes more goblins, or more whatever that I have. Yeah, well, I'd have to choose a creature type, so it probably becomes. Kate's Sun, because Mono Red. Chancellor of the Forge. Yeah, Chancellor of the Forge? Why do they call it Ch Is it Chancellor? Yeah, uh, I must be saying that wrong. You may reveal this card from your opening hand. If you do, at the beginning of your first upkeep, create a red goblin creature token with haste. Whatever's battlefield, create X11 one, one reds, where X is the number of creature controls. So it's pretty good from as what it's one of the Phyrexian sets. I think that's new Phyrexia, but I could be wrong. I really I, I kinda want to see this card in, in person, because I've never seen this card in person, and I think it would just like the art on Midco is good, but I think this would look way better in person. Mirror Biosphere, because I died to it so many times, I wanted to play with it. Skirgan Invasion. I like the way I think this is like a promo art version of this card, unless this card always looks like this, I'm not sure. But it creates some spawn, and I like it. Blasphemous Act, because it's red, and I want to do it. All right. Oh no, we got some more cards. Oh, we gotta go. oh here we go. All right. Temple with Vengeance. Tempting Offer. Create X11 one, one red elements creature token with faith. Each opponent may create elements creature with host. For each opponent who does, creates X. So, <laughs> so it's like, I create five. Each opponent may create five. For each opponent who does, I make another five. <laughs> so it's awesome. I like it. Uh, Firecat Blitz from Judgment. Create X mana little red elemental red kitties, and then I can sacrifice X mountains. Yeah. So it's flashback, but you have to sacrifice mountains to make cats. Got it. I, I read that. I was like, wait, what? No, oh, okay. Create X one one red goblin creature tokens. It's got an offensive. It looks awesome, and like that art is creepy. They're all they're all having a good time, and we have released the gremlins. 
Destroy X artifacts creates X22 red gremlin creature tokens. So that is our Pulphoros God the Forge deck. Hope you enjoyed, and uh, yeah, let's get into some multiplayer gameplay. See you around.